So the market is alive and well. We're seeing uh, the kind of adoption rate that I would parallel to uh, the adoption rate of HD TV in the consumer market. You know, once people see what's capable, what Megapixel can deliver, the image quality, the kind of performance that you get out of it, they can't go back to what they had. So Megapixel is alive and very well. So what, what is the difference between Megapixel and, and HD? They're, they're kind of used sometimes interchangeably, but now what's the difference? Mm -hmm. So the, the difference, be, there is no difference between megapixel and HD. Mm -hmm. um, HD is a marketing term used to describe a certain format image. So 720p, for instance, is a 1280 by 720 camera, 720 being the shorter of the two resolutions. Um, P is for progressive scan. Mm -hmm. scan. So it, if you multiply 1280 by 720, what you'll find is that somewhat below a megapixel. A 1080p is 1920 by 1080, which is roughly a little bit below two megapixels. So HD is just a marketing term used to describe different variations of megapixel cameras. When you're when you're buying megapixel, obviously it's a. Uh, um Oh, well, does that, what are the considerations you have to have have in mind? Uh, uh, and when it comes to bandwidth, when it comes to storage, how how much do they, how much does megapixel affect that? And how you know, down the line, I mean, when you when you buy a megapixel camera or set of cameras, are you looking at a larger project uh, for supporting them? So, so there's a couple of things that you, there's a couple of rules of thumb. First of all, if you're comparing a megapixel camera to a VGA camera, yes, it's going to use more bandwidth, and yes, it's going to take more storage. But if the VGA camera is doing what you need, why are you going to megapixel? The reason people go to megapixel is because VGA is not delivering the image quality that they need. So they want to have either higher image quality or broader coverage. Even. So that's the one thing. You've got to think about how you're deploying the cameras. So if, you're, if you choose to go with megapixel cameras, more than likely you're going to be covering a wider area. If that's the case, you can look at other things. So for instance, if a CCTV camera, the maximum area a CCTV camera can cover with good detail is about 16 feet wide. A 5 megapixel camera can cover about 64 feet wide with the same amount of detail. If you're looking at, for instance, things like frame rate, um, an object moving through a 16 foot wide area, you have to trigger at much faster than an object that's moving through a 64 foot wide area. So you can't compare a VGA camera running at 10 frames a second with a megapixel camera running at, at 10 frames a second and say they're the same. It's going to take, you can reduce, for instance, with megapixel cameras, you can reduce the frame rate um, probably by about you know, four to five times what you would need to cover a narrow area. So you've got to really think about what you're trying to accomplish. Again, the VGA cameras, if all you need to do is cover a 16-foot wide area, VGA cameras are fine for you. If you look to cover a wider area or you need better detail, you have to go to megapixel. So you can't compare apples to oranges. But you, you really got to compare apples to apples. But you can reduce your frame rate with megapixel because of the resolution. Right. right. Mm -hmm. so, so let me give you another example. Mm -hmm. A VGA camera can cover a 16-foot wide area with forensic detail. A 5-megapixel camera can cover a 64-foot wide area. Four times the width, okay? Mm -hmm. So if you, if you need to capture 20 images of a subject every time they're in the field of view and they're all moving, they're moving at the same rate, you're going to have to trigger the VGA camera at four times the rate uh, as a megapixel camera because it's going to take it's going to pass through your field of view in one quarter of the time. So you've got to you've got to weigh those things. So if, if I have a camera that, if, in order to capture a certain number of images passing through a field of view, let's say the VGA camera has to run at 10 frames a second, it's going to take four times as long for that subject to get through a five megapixel mm -hmm. field of view. So you can run that five megapixel camera at two and a half frames a second and still capture the same number of images of your subject.